Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a little public service announcement. It's sort of, an, I'm gonna do an ongoing series here about, about situational awareness and, or well, actually it's a general be prepared uh, category. And today's inaugural video, uh, actually we did one a couple days ago, uh, it was a, a kind of a guest post about what, how to be prepared for winter uh, snow. And then you might see a link here. I'm, I'm gonna start experimenting with YouTube boxes uh, for, uh, for other related videos. But today's uh, video is gonna be about uh, being prepared and, and it's situational awareness. Uh, when you go visit places like a, like a shopping mall. Now, most people, um, when they go to a shopping mall, they, they go into the, into the parking lot, they buy their stuff, and then they, they get out. Um, what we like to do, every time we go to someplace new especially, but uh, periodically with our regular um, shopping uh, locations is that we like to, you know, we drive around the parking lot. We like to see how the, the, the parking lot is laid out. And as you can see, all, all the storefronts are what most people see when you go, when they go shopping. You know, they, they, they go in and they leave. Um, but it's kind of important also to know how the entire uh, facility or property is, is, um, is laid out because there may be times when you meet, you may find yourself in the back of a shopping center, uh, let's say there's an emergency and you have to use a fire exit, uh, or there could be multiple reasons why um, it's helpful to know what else is around there. I mean, it's just common sense to whenever you go somewhere new. So what we like to do is we always drive around the back of these, of these strip malls or any mall, any, anywhere we've been, I've been there in the back. It's important to go see how the site is laid out, what, what is adjacent to those, uh, to those properties, are there other exits? You'll, you'll be surprised that uh, many of these shopping centers have like secret bat cave entrances or exits that might come in handy if uh, the situation warrants it. Uh, and you also, if you drive around the back, you can see if there's something brewing that's up to no good. I mean, none of these things have ever happened to us, but bad things usually happen out of sight first. So it's good to just do a, a scope out of, of, the, of the sites that you visit and know, and, and look on maps too, I have to say. Go on, a, you can use any map program uh, or even a paper map if that's uh, something you still like to use. But look, look at the different uh, exits and, and entry points to a, to a facility. And if you ever need to run away or somewhere, you know where you are. You're not just running blindly into into uh, unknown uh, territory. I mean, that's what the war war uh, uh, generals do. They they know their surroundings. And I think it's very important to always check out behind the malls and strip malls you go to. You never know. Um, and it's just like finding the, uh, when you go into a store or a movie theater, know where the emergency exits are, you know? Um, there's nothing wrong or stupid about checking out the back, at least once. Uh, I like doing it multiple times for some bizarre reason, because I think it's fun. It, it, it mixes things up instead of just being on autopilot, the groundhog day, every day, I'm going to do the same thing. No, and, you know, enrich your mind and get, expand your mind, as they say. So that's it. I mean, that's our, our announcement or PSA for today is to always check out what you don't see. Um, you may be a hero one day and hopefully you won't need to be, but I think it's a really good idea to understand where, what, what, your, uh, what your environment is. So hope you found this useful. Subscribe and check the bell as they say. I don't know. I mean, I, I have like seven subscribers, um, but we're going to get more as time goes on. Have a nice week, weekend, and so on. Bye.